In today's day and age, men are bombarded by the quick and simple haircut salons, but here at Barbershop Reviews, we're seeking out the locations that are a full experience, not just a simple haircut. And today we are in beautiful Prescott, Arizona to meet with a shop that has become one of those local destinations, John Hancock Barbershop. They have two locations in Prescott, Arizona. One is steps away from the Prescott Downtown Square, located in the historic Elks Theater. The other one is off of Montezuma. Let's go talk to them now at the Gurley location. So I wanted it to be able to uh, to break barriers. I didn't want to pigeonhole myself into like one set look that's that's catering to a certain demographic. So uh, you know, Prescott, the, the average age here is about 52. So we have to be able to um, obviously provide a professional experience to the men of that that age bracket, but also reach out to the younger crowd that's here. Uh, so really, it just came down to wanting that rustic, old kind of classic, timeless look with. Uh, just a whole lot of America in here, and um, and you know, putting a proper flair on it to where it's not obnoxious. It's not uh, you know looks like it's thrown together, but having it done you know extremely well. So that's where uh, my buddy Andrew Horvath came into play with Anastasis Design. He was the one who uh, pretty much had free reign to come up with the designs that he wanted to. I kind of told him what I needed, and he was the one who literally built everything in the shop so any wood pipe uh, the mirrors um, wall fixtures photos the sign that's behind you right there he built everything so I'm not trying to create just a brand and an image that people are coming in seeking that, but I actively pursue the community and like, how can we get back? How, where can we invest our time and our talents um, into the community that we're in and uh, help the community out? So, dads can bring their kids, or um, you know, the next goal we're going to try to do is really reach out to the uh, big brothers, big sisters which we've worked with uh, in the past here for different charity organizations and, and kind of set something up when a big brother can bring in a, uh, a little brother and you know, the big brother pays for his haircut and the, the little brother gets his haircut for free. So awesome. it's a way for us to uh, kind of give back to the community, which is one of our huge goals here in the shop and, um, you know, continue to um, bring about that sense of community and camaraderie within the men of Prescott. I guess the main demographic that's coming through the doors right now are, are probably men in their, you know, mid 40s to uh, 60s, and then of course the um, the goal is, you know, capturing a lot of that younger crowd, so all the way down to high school kids up to, you know, your 30 year old professionals. Actually, I got into cutting hair before I went to the military. Uh, I got into hair about. Uh, Right after a couple years of college, I started off as a hairdresser, did three years, I got bored uh, working around pretty ladies all day. It sounds great when you're in your young 20s, but then you uh, reality sets in and you're like, man, this is not as cool as I thought. So I went off to the Army, uh, spent eight years at 2nd Ranger Battalion, and then um, got out. My wife and I are both from, from here, and so we moved back. I think a lot of it came from uh, my military experience, I did eight years active duty, and so when I got out, kind of searching for um, that outlet to kind of surround myself with other like-minded individuals and provide that same atmosphere for, uh, for a lot of guys out there in the culture, which I think 
doesn't really exist in today's culture. Um, you know, there's really no place that men can go to kind of just surround themselves with other guys and talk and learn from each other and just, uh, you know, have uh, conversations that are held a little bit more authentically outside of, you know, a bar. For the most part, it's a pretty affordable haircut. Um, they're definitely getting the best haircut in Northern Arizona, the best experience, uh, and just a quality service uh, to boot. So. A lot of the influence came from my buddy Paul Catlett and uh, his partner uh, Thad Forrester. So it started Hudson Hawk, and I believe now they're at about five or six barber shops and just extremely professional uh, atmosphere, environments, everything they're doing for their community, kind of creating that brand, the overall image of what uh, a barber shop should be and how to cultivate a masculine environment that um, young men and older men feel comfortable to come in and just kind of relax and, and uh, unwind. Uh, they're just doing a phenomenal job out there. So um, that, you know, over the last two years going out there and kind of seeing what they grew and how they went about that was uh, pretty influential in myself coming back home and kind of, you know, adding little things here and there or borrowing things from them. And uh, so that's, you know, pretty big part of what the shop is nowadays because those two are, so. As of right now, 2017, my next two goals would be to open up a third shop and then uh, start breaking ground on a school. So all the barber schools as of right now are down in, in the valley and uh, there's really no barber schools in northern Arizona. So you have a, an entire, I guess, section of the state that um, is, is pretty dated when it comes to uh, having, a, uh, having a need met within all the communities that are up here in northern Arizona. So by, by kind of filling that void and um, I guess uh, bringing new barbers into the scene, revitalizing that entire scene, uh, the long-term goal I guess would definitely be the, the school, a third barber shop, and then branch out and move up to Flagstaff and the Verde and Sedona and kind of just keep keep moving through northern Arizona and then at some point branch down to uh, you know the valley and maybe further. So. This place is great, look at it. I mean, it's, it's not stuffy, it's not sticky. You got a place to kick back, you got chairs, you got tables. I don't know, it's just a great environment right here. So, a lot easier. You're not feeling like oh, I'm sitting in a chair waiting for another number. I already made an appointment for next month, so. I've never been anywhere like this, trust me. You gotta, even if you don't get a haircut, just go check it out upstairs check it out it's really cool but definitely get a haircut while you're there so
What's up everyone? Welcome back to Barbershop Reviews. We hope you enjoyed the video. Um, it's been a little while since we taped that video to the taping now. As you can tell, I'm a bit overgrown now, a little bit longer down here. Um, but we had a great experience there. Uh, we love John Hancock Barbershop. Grant has been our barber for some time now and he just does an amazing job. We love getting our hair cut, getting all cleaned up, making the, this, this bush here looking a lot better. So make sure in the comments down there, go ahead and write down a uh, barbershop you'd love for us to check out. Appreciate you watching the video. Uh, would love a thumbs up, love a like. Don't forget to subscribe to us. 